He's wondering. Vibhishan walks up and he says, We still have time. Don't think it's too late. The poison has filled his shoulder. It has filled his chest and you can see the purplish and the bluish color. Prabhu Rama, we need to act now. We need to bring one of the best doctors that there is. And there is one of the best physicians and the doctors in Lanka. He is the best because Ravana only goes to him. But Prabhu Rama says, but how will our Rakshasa doctor help us? And Vibhishan says, he is no Rakshasa doctor. Vibhishan says, he is an honest physician. He is one who stays in Lanka, but he is one who will do his best to revive anyone, whether it be his friend or whether it be his enemy. How many people in life have a problem when it comes to coexisting with your enemies and your friends? How many people feel that when you see your enemies in front of you or you see your friends in front of you, it means that you must be biased. You show one person a good face and you show the other bad because he may be your enemy. How many people have the mentality and the ability to walk amongst the people who don't like us and yet admits it all, still smile? How many people have the strength, that inner strength, that simplicity, that humility, that even though you walk a path in the world and the world is ready, some will love you and some will hate you, but along the path of the world, you smile. How many people have the ability with that humility to still smile through it all? To still look through it all? Prabhu Ramachandra stood before Ravana and even when Ravana says, I will destroy you and I will destroy Sita Devi, he just looks and he smiles. He's holding on to a bow with arrows, but he is smiling because even in the midst of the enemies or the friends, he's never biased. Never be, my friends, biased to the people around you. Never show a negative face to the people around you. Never show the negative attitude to the people around you. Treat them alike in the world. Maybe to your heart, you know you will not go an extent or cross a limit with certain people. But that doesn't mean that you treat them ill. Because every action has a reaction. It is said no matter what the situation, whatever the place may be in your path, the good you do will come back to you. And the bad you do definitely will come back. We go in a crowd, we go in a situation where we are probably in a mandir or in a crowded area and we see people that we don't like and instead we show them the bad face and we say, you know what, I won't say anything. Understand that what goes around will come around. Today, Bhaktas, in our message, while Prabhu Ramachandra is asking, Vibhishan says, this doctor will not take sides, but he has a passion for what he does. He loves doing what he does. And if he loves doing what he does, then no matter who comes there, he will take care of them. When you love what you do, then you don't pay attention to who, like, who likes you and who don't like you. When you love what you do, as a doctor, as your job, as whatever it may be, when you do what you do and you do it from your heart, then whether you walk apart, whether the world likes you or not, you will continue to do it because you do it with your heart's content. Prabhu Ramachandra says, but we need to bring that physician right now. If you know that there is such a person, we need to get him. And the Avibhishan says, there is only one person who can go. Let us call on you, Hanumanji. Pawan Putra, only you have the ability to increase your size or become small. Go back into Lanka, find your way in. If it means you become small and minute like a mosquito and get inside, find where that physician is and he starts to direct him. He will be there. You make this corner and you look for this landmark and you will go there and you will see his little kutia. Night has dawned and at this point, go and you will find him. Lord Hanuman, he prostrates to Prabhu Ramachandra. He bows. He takes blessings of God first and he is about to go. Anything you do in the world, bow. Touch the feet of God first, no matter what it is. You're getting off your bed, Jai Shri Ram. You're starting your car, Prabhu, thank you. You're about to sing, Jai Shri Ram Prabhu. You're about to eat, Om Namah Shivai. You're about to do anything in the world, put God first. Katha tells us today, Hanumanji prostrates and he makes his leap. And very minute, he goes into Lanka and he's searching for the physician. When he sees a kutia somewhat from what had been explained to him, he goes to the, the kutia and he knocks on the door and while he's knocking, nobody comes out. He goes through the window as he takes the minute form and he goes in and he sees the doctor lying there and around him he's seeing all the utensils that the doctor would use. He's seeing all the equipments that the doctor would use and he's wondering, well how...
प्रेम सुस्मापति महादेव की जय वृंदावन भी हरी लाल की जय हरे सोल्स्तान माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आज यू बहुत नॉट जॉइन एंड ब्यूटीफुल श्री हनुमान जी आरती ओम श्री गणेशाय नमः ओम श्री सरस्वती नमः ओम श्री गुरु भी हो नमो नमः आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्टलन रघुनाथ कला जाके बल से गिरिवार का पे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके जय श्री राम जाके बल से लक्ष्मण मूरचित पदे सकारे आनी संजीवन आनी संजीवन आनी संजीवन आनी संजीवन लक्ष्मण मूरचित पदे सकारे आनी संजीवन प्राण उबारे लक्ष्मण मूरचित पदे सकारे आनी संजीवन प्राण उदारे बैठी हो बैठी हो बैठी ताल तोरे जमकारी अहिरावण के मुझा उचारे ओम श्री हनुमति नमः नर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उतारे सुन नर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उतारे कंजन 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 तारक पूरा नौ सारी आरती 
As we begin this beautiful night once more in worship to the Divine Lord, we praise none other than that Supreme Personality, that form of Lord Hanumanji. Tonight, all those who have come to join with us in worship to Mahaviri Swami, we continue with a beautiful night of the Sri Ashtasiddhi Yatra, where we praise Bajrangabali. Throughout the Yatra, every night when we join in our Katha and our messages, they are not just like Ramayan. They are not just like the Tulsidas Ramayan or Valmiki Ramayan, but it's a combination of the Holy Scriptures, all of which Lord Hanumanji had taken an active role and a part. Tonight, once more in the Sri Hanuman Ankh, as well as the Sri Hanuman Charitramanas, Tulsidas Ramayan, Adhyatma Ramayan, Valmiki Krit Ramayan, we merge our wonderful messages together to see once more the epic, the divine form of Bajarangabali. At this time, as we begin our night's devotion, once more to the members of the Celestial Gandharvas, we specially welcome each and every one of them so that they can create the energy, the vibrations of our Yatra. To the members of the home and the entire family who would have hosted this beautiful night, we specially say thank you and send Bhagwan's blessings in your direction as well. To all of viewers tonight via YouTube, via Sankhya Television, once more we say Swagatam, Namaskar and Ajay Sitaram to all our beautiful viewers and to all those who are locked on via Facebook as well. God, you welcome and Jai Sitaram. At this time, to all those who are here, without further ado, let us all sit upright so that we can join in our beautiful invocation, prayer and mantras where we invite the deities of the heavens to descend to the earth and to descend to this very spot so that we can ignite the strength and the divinity of Mahavir. We begin with Omkar. Oh Kratunda Mahakaya Surya Kuti Sama Prabha Nirviganam Kurumi Deva Sarva Kaji Shusavadam Yadi Visarva Bhuti Shu Durga Rupi Nasantita Namaste, 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 namo namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Lakshmi Rupi Nasantita Namaste, 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 namo namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Saraswati Rupi Na Sanstita Namaste Se Namaste Se Namaste Se Namo Namaha Namaste Se Namaste Se Namaste Se 
नमो नमः प्रणव पवन कुमार कलबन पाव कद्यान धन जासुदया बस ही राम सर जापन अतुलित बलधाम हेम शैला बदेह धनुजवन कृशान ज्ञानी नाग्रगण्यम सकल गुण निधान वानरा रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वाट जात नमा गोष्पदेतवादेश मसकीकृतराक्षसम रायण महामला वंदे नीलात्मज अंजनानंदनम वीर जानकीशोकनाशनम कपीशमक्षता वंदे लंका वोल्यंज्य सिंधु सलिल सलिल यशोक वही जनकात्मजाया आजानते नदा लंका नमा तम प्राजनिया जल मनोजव मारुदतुल्य वेगम जितेन्द्रिम बुद्धिमता वरिष्ठ वातात्मज वानरयुत मुख्यम श्रीरामदूत शरण प्रपदे ओ श्री हनुमते नम ओ श्री हनुमते नम ओ श्री हनुमते नम As we begin this beautiful night with might and with strength and with power bala buddhi vidya we now join in 40 verses of worship to lord hanuman shri guru charana sarojaraja nijamana mukura sudha varna raghuvara vimala jasu jodaya kupala cha बुद्धि न तनु जानिके सुमिर पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या देव मोहि हर कलेश विकार और तो कहता पवन सुता हनुमान की जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपी क्षति हु लोक उजागर राम दूता तुलित बल धामा अंजनी पुत्र पवन सुत नामा महावीर विकरम बजरंगी सुमति निवार सुमति के संगी कचन वर्ण विराज सुवेशा कारण कुंडल कुछ किसा महावीर बलवंत महावीर बलवंत जय हनुमान महावीर बलवंत पवन पुत्र हनुमान जय श्री राम तबाद्र और ध्वजा विराज कांधे मोर जने साज शंकर सोन के सरे नंदन तेज प्रताप महाजगवंदन विद्यावान गुनी अति चातुर राम काज करे गो आतुर प्रभु चरित्र सुन बेगो रसिया राम लखन सीता मन बस महावीर बलवंत महावीर बलवंत जय हनुमान महावीर बलवंत पवन पुत्र हनुमान ओम श्री हनुमते नमः सुख 
ಭೀಷ್ಮ ರೂಪ ಧರಿಸಿ ಹಿಜಿ ಕಾವ ವಿಗತ ರೂಪ ಧರಿ ಲಂಗ ಜರ ಭೀಮ ರೂಪ ಧರಿ ಅಸುರ ಸನಾರೆ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರೆ ಕಾದು ಸವಾರಿ ಲಾಯ ಸಜೀವನ ಲಕನ ಜಿಯಾಯಿ ಶ್ರೀ ರಘುವೀರ್ ಹರ ಶಿವರ ಲಾಯಿ ರಘುಪತಿ ಕೇನಿ ಬಹುತ ಬರಾಯಿ ತುಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭರತ ಹೇ ಸಮ ಭಾಯಿ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಬಲವಂತ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಪವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಸಹಸ ವದನ ತುಮರು ಅಜ ಸಗಾವ ಅಜ ಗೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಪತಿ ಕಂದ ಲಗಾವ ತನ ಕಾರಿ ಕಬ್ರಹಿ ಮುನೀತ ನಾರದ ಶಾರದ ಸೈದ ಈಸ ಯಂ ಕುಬೇರ ದಿಗ ಪಾಲ ಜಹಾತಿ ಕವಿ ಗೋವಿದ ಕೈ ಸಖಿ ಕಹಾತಿ ತುಮೋಪಕಾರ ಸುಗ್ರೀ ವಹಿ ಕೀರ ರಾಮ ಮೇಲಾಯ ರಾಜ ಪರ ದಿನ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಬಲವಂತ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಬಲವಂತ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಪವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮಾ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಾರಿ ಬೋಲೆ ಮರು ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಮಾನ ಲಂಕೇಶ್ವರ ಭಯ ಸಬ ಜಗ ಜಾನ ಯುಗ ಸಹಸ ಯೋಜನ ಪರ ಮಾನು ವಿಲ್ಯತಾ ಹಿ ಮಧುರ ಬಲ ಜಾನು ಪ್ರಭು ಮೋದ್ರ ಕಾಮಿಲಿ ಮುಖ ಮಾಹಿ ಜರಜಿ ಲಾಂಗಿ ಗೈ ಚರ ಜನಾಯಿ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಕಾ ಜಗತ್ ಕೀ ಜೀತಿ ಸುಗಮಾನುಗ್ರಹ ತುಮರೇ ತಿತಿ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಬಲವಂತ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಪವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮಾ ದ್ವಾರೆ ತುಮರ ಕವಾರೆ ಪೋತನ ಆಜ್ಞಾ ಕೃಪೆ ಸಾರಿ ಸಬ ಕಲ ಹೈ ತುಮಾರಿ ಶರಣ ಸ್ಮರಕ್ಷಕ ಕಾಹೋ ತೋ ಧರಣ ಆಪಣ ತೇಜ ಸಮಾರೋ ಆಪೈ ದಿನ ಹುಲೋ ಆಂಕ ತೇ ಕಾಪೈ ಭೂತ ಪಿಸಾಟ ನಿಕಟನ ಯಾವೈ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ ದಮ ನಾಮ ಸುನವೈ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವತ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಬಲವ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಅವರ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಜಿ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ನಾಸೆ ರೋಗ ಹರೆ ಸಬ ಪೀರ ಜಬ ನಿರಂತರ ಹನುಮತ ವೀರ ಸಂಕಟ ದೇ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಚರಾವೈ ಮತ್ತ ಮವಚನ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಜೋಲಾವ ಪರ ರಾಮ ತಪಸ್ವಿ ರಾಜ ದಿನ ಕೆ ಕಾಜ ಸಕಲ ತುಮ ಸಾಜ ಔರ ಮನೋರಥ ಜೋ ಕೈಲಾವೈ ಸುಯಮಿತ ಜೀವನ ಪಲ್ಲ ಪವೈ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಬಲವಂತ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಅವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಚಾರೋ ಯುಗ ಪರ ತಾಪ ತುಮಾರ ಐ ಪರ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಜಿಯಾರ ಸಾಧು ಸಂತಕೆ ತುಮರ ಗವಾರೆ ಅಸುರ ನಿಕನ್ನ ರಾಮ ದುಲಾರೆ ಅಷ್ಟ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ನವನಿಧಿ ಕೇ ದಾತ ಅಸಬರ ದೀನ್ ಜಾನ ಕೇ ಮಾತ ರಾಮ ರಸಾಯನ ತುಮರೆ ಪಾತ ಸದಾ ರಹೋ ಸದಾ ರಹೋ ರಘು ಪತಿ ಕೇ ದಾಸ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಬಲವಂತ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ್ ಬಲವಂತ ಪವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮಾ ಮರೆ ಭಜನ ರಾಮ ಕೋ ಪಾವೈ ಜನಮ ಜನಮ ಕೇ ದುಗ ಬಿಸರಾವೈ ಅಂಡ ಕಾಲ ರಘು ಪರಪುರ ಜಾಯಿ ಜಹ ಜನ್ಮ ಹರಿ ಭಕ್ತ ಕಾಯಿ ಔರ ದೇವತಾ ಚಿತ್ತ ನಜರಹಿ ಹನುಮತ ಸೇಯಿ ಸರ್ವ ಸುಖ ಕರಹಿ ಸಂಕಟ ಕಟೆ ಮಿತಿ ಸಬ ಪೀರ ಜೋ ಸುಮಿರ ಜೋ ಸುಮಿರಯ ಹನುಮತ 
बल बीर महावीर बलवत महावीर बलवंत जय हनुमान महावीर बलवंत पवन पुत्र हनुमान हृदय बसो सुरभो पवन सुधा हनुमान की जय बजरंग बली की एज यू बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल नाइट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन वर्शिप टू लॉर्ड हनुमान जी द मोस्ट माइटियस्ट द मोस्ट पावरफुल अकॉर्डिंग टू अर स्क्रिप्ट एज इज कॉल्ड बल बुद्धि विद्या वन स्मॉल द नाइट एंड दिस वंडरफुल अष्ट सिद्ध यात्रा इज वन स्मॉल द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फाइव नाइट्स दैट वी वुड हैव डन लास्ट ईयर वेन मेनी पीपल I had mentioned to them that we are going to take 25 nights, and we're going to take the Sri Hanuman Ankh. It is one of the books that speaks of the side of Lord Hanuman Ji, his to, his story, his version as to what happened in Ramayana. When we listen to Tulsi Das Ji, Tulsi Das writes his story, the vision that he got. Tulsi Das Ji wrote what he saw. Valmiki wrote what he saw and what he envisioned. When Lord Hanuman Ji writes, he writes what exactly took place from his behalf. And last year we decided to do 25 nights in order to complete the entire scripture from the beginning of the Sri Hanuman Ankh, from the very existence of where the gods are begging for the birth of a powerful being. And we decided that we will go down to the end of the scripture. And even after 25 nights, we had only reached half of the book. So with that in mind, to understand the capacity, the energy, the blessings of Lord Hanuman Ji, we've decided now to combine. The strength of Lord Hanuman Ji. He is called Ashtasiddhi Nava Nidhi Ke Data Asbaradina Janaki Mata Ashtasiddhi Nava. He is one with the Ashtasiddhi, the eight forms of Siddhi, strength, powers, blessings, magic, as we have to call it. And we decided now to come together and perform once more eight nights. Ashta Siddhi Yatra for the continuation of this wonderful epic. As myself and the members of my group were speaking earlier, we were mentioning that even eight nights can't even wrap up the end of the scriptures. So we may have a continuation again. <laughs> But with that in mind, as much as we can see the essence, we cannot throw away the gems that are heard. There's so much gems in the scripture, even through a battlefield from day one till now, three days and battles still going on. Because there's so much that took place in Ramayana, and we surpass it. We pass it, and we only know Lord Ram was sent to the forest for 14 years, and he had to kill Ravan, and he come back home, and Ramayana done. And we not, we don't even hear the true essence of what took place, the real essence of Ramayana katha, Sri Hanuman katha. It is the sacrifice of the day-to-day -day trials and tribulations that the Lord had to go through. Our journey begins with the sacrifice that we must endure to have a proper life. Our journey in life will have the ups and the downs. Some people like to have the little story endings where we must have happily ever after. But we all know through experiences, life is not just about happily ever after. Because even in the midst of the beautiful roses, there are the thorns that support. 
Even amidst the roses, there are the thorns that will poke and they will stop us at some point. And in order to have the nice ending where the Lord stands to save us, we must go through the troubles of the world in which we face every single day. Today, my friends, even Prabhu Ramachandra, he had to face so many difficulties. Even Bhagwan Krishna, he faced so many difficulties. And we too, as divine beings on the earth, we will face problems from time to time. We will have crises from time to time. We will have our up moments and our down moments. But the Lord has taken avatar to show us that even in our worst, have faith. Be confident in yourself. And remember, your strength lies within. To begin the night, we will continue our message from last night. But to all those who are new tonight, before we join in understanding that, we will glorify the name of Bajranga Bali, our Lord, Shri Hanumanji. Bajaloji Hanuma Bajaloji Hanuma Bajaloji Hanuma Mahavi Bajarangi Shri Ram 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 When we feel the energy of Lord Hanumanji, we clap and we sing all together. Allow God to have everything in His hands. Sometimes we feel we can do everything and we will know best. But God knows best. And when we totally surrender this lotus-like form, it works out fine. In our Katha, we will continue tonight, my friends, where it is said, the son of Ravana, he is called Indrajit. And Indrajit has realized that Kunkaran has died. Many of his warriors have died. The other sons have died. And Indrajit says, I have a plan. In order to destroy Ram Prabhu on the battlefield, he says, Pitaji Ravana, I will show you what I will do. I will definitely destroy Lord Ram. He shows the world that he is confident in what he has to do. But he's up against God. He's up against the Divine Master. He's about to now perform something that the world will wait to see. The world was never taught in the in universe that it would happen. But he's about to stand up against the Lord, Prabhu Ramachandra. Lord Hanumanji had now brought back Lakshmana to life after he brought the Sanjeevani. And at this time, while Prabhu Ramachandra, they are preparing for a war, this is what takes place. Yeah. 
The very essence of Lord Hanumanji is so much that we can't even comprehend and understand. If you actually understand the divine strength of Bajrangabali, you will fall in love with his personality, with his character, with his form. Everything that we see right here, we will fall in love with everything that fits perfect in the form of our Lord. Today, my dear Bhaktas, in our katha, to those who are new tonight, the son of Ravana is called Indrajit. He is the one who shot an arrow at the chest of Lakshmana and Lakshmana fell to the earth and in the Katha as it goes on, Lord Hanumanji had to go to the Parvat, Drona Giri Parvat. He had to break out the tip of the mountain and he had to lift the mountain like the picture that we commonly see. I believe right behind me. And he's lifting that Parvat, he's lifting that mountain and he will bring now the Mritya Sanjeevani. He will bring the different types of Sanjeevani as well. He will bring the different types of herbs and they will heal Lakshmana. And when Lakshmana stands up strong now, Indrajit and Ravana doesn't believe that these two great beings are simple men that are walking the earth. They must be divine. For them to get beyond this, he says, I know I shot them with the arrow. I know I tried to kill them. I know Lakshmana was dead. And for them to be alive and ready to fight again in days, he says they can't be ordinary. So he comes up with a plan. And last night we heard the beginning of the plan. Indrajit says, Ravana, I will deal with this. It is said you would see now from the gateways, from the walls of Lanka, you will see the doorway opening down. Prabhuram, Lakshmana, Sugriv, Jamwant, they call Hanumanji. Are Dekuna, look, look, everybody. The gateways are about to be opened. Somebody's coming out. And when the gateway has been opened, you see a chariot coming out. You see Indrajit standing in the chariot. And the chariot is also accompanied by another chariot. And on the chariot, you will see Sita Mata. And Prabhu Ram, his heart melts for a second because now he has seen Devi. He has been searching for her through the entire part of Bharat Desh, India. He had crossed the ocean, landed in Lanka, and his eyes were dying to see his Devi. And now after so long, he glances eyes on Sita Devi. But she's so far away, he cannot reach her. He says, Lakshmana, Hanumanji, look, Dekona. And they're looking, and while they're seeing Sita Mata sitting there, their Indraji decides to speak. He comes out of his chariot, he goes onto the chariot of Sita Devi, and he stands there, and he says, Pitaji, Ravana, you're looking from above? Ram Prabhu, this is Sita Devi. Is this what we are fighting for? Prabhu Ravana, is this what is the cause of the end of the entire Rakshasa clan? Well, I will put an end to this today. You know, sometimes in life, you see family members fighting. And you want to stop them, but you don't know how. Sometimes in a family or in siblings, you see your own brother not talking to the next brother. Or you see your sister not talking to her sister. Or you're in the middle of it and you're seeing somebody not talking and you want to get in between. You try talking to this one, they don't want to listen. You talk to the other, they don't want to listen. And sometimes you have the urge just to say, everybody come. What is the problem? You have that urge to do it, but how will you do it? So Indrajit in the middle of the battlefield, he says, Pitaji Ravana, this Devi will cause the end of our entire clan. And Ram Prabhu, you've come and you've destroyed all my brothers. You've destroyed half of the crew of Ravana. You will even fight and destroy Lanka in itself. And is this the reason why? Because of this Devi who is seated here? Is it that because of Sita Devi that all of us will fight and have a war? And while he's speaking, he says, well, today I will put an end to all of this. So he walks up to Sita Devi. Ravana is looking and there... Ram Prabhu is looking. 
and Indrajit pulls out a sword and he walks up to the Devi and he starts to rub the sword on his side of her hands and he starts, starts to rub it on the other side and he starts to rub it on the cheek of Sita Devi Mata and when he rubs it the blade is scratching on the face of Devi the blade is scratching on the hands of the mother and blood is oozing from the hand of Sita Devi it is said Hanumanji at that point he felt as though he could cry blood to see now the blood that oozes from the hands and the face of Sita Devi. Sada Nandini Janaka Kumari Sada Nandini Janaka Kumari Sakala Jagata Mangalakari Jaya Mithilesha Kumari Kumari Jaya Mithilesha Kumari Hanumanji loses all his strength because he sees Sita Devi hurt. He sees blood oozing from her. Ram Prabhu says, I can't bear to see anymore. Somebody do something. Lakshmani's heart hurts. Hanuman says, I don't know why he would do this. She didn't do anything to deserve it. Why would somebody hurt her innocently? She's just sitting there. Ravana looks at his son and he says, Indrajit, how will you attack a poor woman who has no weapons? How will you try to even scratch and create blood? She doesn't even have a weapon to fight you. Devotees, it is at this time when the blood starts to ooze. Indrajit says, I will put an end to this. So he raises his sword in the air and he says, today I will behead her. Let the world see what we are fighting for. I will behead her. Let Ram Prabhu see that Sita Mata is not worth fighting for. Let Lakshmana, Hanumanji, let you, Pitaji, look, if this is our problem, let the problems end right now. And this, my friends, as Sita Mata sits innocently and she looks down and tears will flow from her eyes. Jaya Mithilesha Kumari Kumari Jaya Mithilesha Kumari Kumari Jaya Mithilesha Kumari Sadanandini Janaka Kumari Sakala Jagata Mangala Kari Jaya Mithilesha Kumari Kumari Jaya Mithilesha Kumari Mata sits there. It is said he raises the sword in the air and in one second he swipes with the sword and he beheads Sita Mata right there and then. The gods above doesn't believe it. The world doesn't believe it. Nobody believes it. Hanumanji sees that he has beheaded Sita Mata on the chariot right there and as soon as the head falls out onto the chariot Hanumanji couldn't take it anymore. Hanumanji, it is said, he took up his gada and he ran. He rushed up to Indrajit and he grabbed a boulder on the way. And with that boulder, he smashed it at the chest of Indrajit. And as soon as he smashed it at the chest of Indrajit, everything that was seen there, the entire chariot, Sita Devi, Indrajit, everything just vanished and disappeared like a puff of air on the battlefield. Hanuman couldn't understand. 
Where did they go? And then suddenly now, Vibhishan, he comes behind Prabhu. Are Prabhu, why are you sweating like this? Lakshmana, what is wrong? What is Hanumanji doing there? And Ram Prabhu is saying, Sita Mata just came out and Indrajit destroyed her. And Vibhisha laughed and he says, Prabhu, you get full. Prabhu, don't you know Indrajit is about Maya and sorcery? Don't you know that he plays tricks on the minds of people? He's a Rakshasa, but I know his secret. Since you have said to me that he was there, but he really isn't there, I know where he is. When he performs his sorcery, he sits by his altar. He does Havan Puja. He calls upon the eight mouths of Agni Devta. And Agni blesses him with sorcery. There are different types of Agni. When we do the puja, when we perform prayers, and we're about to light the deer, Pandit says, light the deer. Siddhi Bodhi Prade Devi Bhukti Mukti Pradayani Bolo Mantra Murti Sada Devi Mahalakshmi Namostute That light that you're lighting, it is called Lakshmi. But it is not just Lakshmi, it is Lakshmi Agni. Agni is fire. She is the fire. She is Lakshmi Agni because she has been ignited. When you light the Havan Kun and you're about to burn the offerings of Samagri, that is normal Agni. That is Agni's original form. When someone dies and we're about to offer into the fire at the cremation site, we are telling Agni, I want you to burn this pyre and I want you to burn the body flesh that is inside. The same Agni that you light for Adiya cannot be the one burning a dead body. The same Agni that is taking part in a puja and you're offering some magri and gugul and so on. That is not the same Agni that will burn flesh. That is called Kravyadam Agni, a different form of Agni. When a child is born, we have a sanskar. And we call upon Chandra Agni. We call upon Mangal Agni. The forest fire that burns down the entire forest. It is not the Diya, the Mother Lakshmi. If the forest is burning down, are you going to say, Jai Lakshmi Mata? Would you say that? <laughs> no, it is a different Agni. If the fire is burning the entire forest, will you walk with a little tarya with Google and say, Yeah, Agni, yeah. Om Namah Shivaya Swaha. No, it is a different Agni. There are different forms of Agni, and while there are different forms, it is said Indrajit has the ability to call on the eight mouths of Agni at the same time. And when the eight mouths of Agni are ignited, at that point, he creates his sorcery, and everything that was seen was an illusion. Nothing happened. Hanumanji couldn't testify. So at that point he says, Jai Shri Ram, Prabhu, I need to see for myself. So he became smaller, as small as a bringi, as small as a bee. And he decided to now make his way through and to go now at the top of Ravana's palace. And he went to the Ashoka and he peeped a little bit and he saw Mata Sita sitting there. Her head is bent. She's still rubbing the ground and she's begging, Ma, Dharti Mata, Ambama, please help me. I'm begging you. How much more will I have to see? How much more? And Mother Sita is still sitting there. And when he saw her, tears of joy filled his eyes. He put his hands together and he says, Ma, I promise you soon it will all come to an end. He turned around and he went back to Prabhu Ramachandra and he gave Prabhu the good news. And as soon as he gave Prabhu the good news, Prabhu Ramachandra, he says, how can I ever thank you, Hanumanji, for giving me confidence? How can I say thank you for building mark my strength within? How many people in your life builds your confidence? And how many people in your life breaks your confidence? How many people in your life are always demoting you? Don't do that now. We're doing that. Baba, leave that. That's not good. Don't study that. Leave it. And they never motivate you to do something. And how many people motivate you to say, you know what, maybe, I don't know, maybe it might work, but try, try it. Let me see. I will help you. I will support you. I will stand with you. Let's try. Maybe, I don't know, in experience, maybe I never seen it happen. Maybe you could do it better than me. How many people support you no matter what? And how many people bring you down? He says, Hanumanji, today you are like all the gods in one. You are like my brother. Bajore bhaiya. Bhai, Ram Govinda Hari. You are better than the name Ram and you are greater than the name Govinda.
today I prostrate to you because you are mighty and you are powerful. And I, Prabhu Ramachandra, even I lose confidence with the Maya of the world. But even though I lose confidence, thank God for a personality like you to always give me confidence. We need to surround ourselves with the people who are always giving us confidence. We need to always be motivated. Our scriptures will always guide us. And every time we hear the name, sometimes people go through their lives a crisis and it takes one moment to sit in the yajna and say, yeah, Baba, you know what? I feel good. I feel good. We have to build our aura to share it with the people around us. Bajore bhaiya Rama Govinda Hari Bajore bhaiya Rama Govinda Hari Rama Govinda Hari Rama Govinda Hari Bajore bhaiya Rama Govinda Hari Bajore bhaiya Rama Govinda Hari जपत पसाधन जपत पसाधन कछु नहीं लागत जपत पसाधन जपत पसाधन कछु नहीं लागत कर चाहता नहीं गाचरी कर चाहता बजुरे भैया राम गोविंदा हरे बजुरे भैया राम गोविंदा हरे संकट संकट As you pray to the Lord, it is said, He's Sankat Mochan. He's our protector. And when you pray with a pure heart and you dedicate yourself to the Lord, He will protect you no matter what. But your love must be intense. Your devotion must be pure. Don't just pray because you have to. Don't just pray because somebody tells you, Hey, come in your prayers and you go clap now. Don't just pray because the Pandit is urging you to clap. But do it because you know what? It will change your life. It will do something better for you. It will inspire you. It will motivate you. It will bring about an aura to change your life. Just being in the company of this spark and this energy, when you leave, you can receive that blessing, that aura that can transform your life into success. All you need to do is to be around the energy, the energy of Mahavir. संकट संपत सुख के कारण संकट संपत संकट संपत सुख के कारण जासो भूल परी जासो भूल परी कभी साधु 
Vibhishan says, I can tell you what to do, Prabhu. Who wants to fight that Indrajit? And Lakshmana says, that is the one who shot me. Show me, I want to find him. He's doing yajna, I want to go there. And Vibhishan says, I will tell you his secret. Come. And he takes him to the side of the palace of Lanka. He's hiding and he's takes him, he takes him to the side of Lanka. And when he goes there, he's hiding behind a tree. And Vibhishan says, there's a mantra that I was taught. I will hold on to you. I will chant this mantra. And nobody will be able to see us. It is one of the mantras that the Rakshasas use when they get into the sky so nobody could see them. I will say this mantra and I will hold on to you. And Lakshmana, he goes with Vibhishan. And when he stands by one of the tree to stand guard and to hide, Vibhishan chants the mantra and he's unseen. And when he looks in front of him, Indrajit is doing his puja and he's making offerings into the fire. And while he's making offerings, he says, No, I will have to stop this, this yagya. I will have to prevent the yagya from taking place. I will have to intercept this yagya. And Lakshmana, he takes out his arrow and he aims at the Havan Kun. And when he aims at the Havan Kun, he releases his arrow. And as soon as the arrow hits at the Havan Kun, it is said some of the wood from inside pitches out. And when it flies out of the Havan Kun and it falls onto the ground, Indraji turns around but he can't see anybody because they are invisible. He can't see anybody but he gets up and there he takes immediately his bow and his arrows and he mounts one and there he shoots it into the sky. And with the power that he shoots it with, with the mantras that he chants, it is said as it goes into the air, the light that is seen could see that Lakshmana and Vibhishan is there. And when he spots them, he says, you foolish uncle, he looks at his uncle Vibhishan. He says, you foolish uncle. Don't you know somebody like you, they call a traitor? Don't you know somebody like you, they say that the one who abandons his own family and adopts the ways of the enemies, they are a traitor. Today you left us and you've gone with Ram Prabhu. Today you are a traitor and today while I try to stand up for the entire clan, you've brought Lakshmana. Well, I will destroy Lakshmana first and then I will come for you, uncle. And he looks at his uncle and he disrespects him. In life, devotees, no matter what takes place, we must always respect our elders. It is a blessing that will be with us forever. He disrespects Vibhishan. And Lakshmana at that point, he says, nobody can disrespect such an individual. The one who stands up to support the Lord, nobody should disrespect. We must never disrespect people of God. We must never ill speak and bad talk people who are in service and devotion to God. Sometimes we sit down and we say, see that man who do the prayers by, but if I tell you about that man. Eh? <laughs> and we look to point fingers and for the little thing and the way he put the jandi and the way he put the leaf and the way he, I mean, we, we are ready to put down, discriminate, criticize. We never put down a devotee of God. Vibhishan is a bhakta, a very dear friend of Prabhu Ram. And Lakshmana, when he saw Indrajit getting up and he cast those words, Indrajit immediately ran to his chariot and he says, Today I will be finished with all of you. And he jumps on his chariot and he goes into the skies. And when he goes into the skies, at this time, friends, the war will continue. Prabhu Ramachandra, he's seeing in the skies, he's seeing someone moving fast like lightning. But he cannot see who exactly who they are because he's swift. But he can see the light like thunder, like lightning, my friends, in the clouds. Lakshmana, he picks up his bow and his arrows and he walks up to the Agni and he says, if this is the Agni that can create magic, if this is the Agni that can create once more that negative force, he takes the tip of his arrow and he dips it into the fire. And he says, now, 
I want you to bring all the strength that you can, Agni. Jai Shri Ram. In the name of Prabhu Ram, Jai Shri Ram. It is said out of the fire, serpents started to come out. Snakes started to come out. It is said Sheshnag started to come out. And while the snakes are coming out, while Lakshmana has placed the arrow into Agni, as soon as he pulls it out, the arrow is red hot. With the heat and with the energy, the serpents, they start scattering everywhere. They won't stay with the heat of Lakshmana. He mounts it onto the arrow, onto the bow, and he aims it in the direction. And scripture tells us, it is said as soon as he shoots, it is said with the seven tongues of flame coming from the arrow. Agni, the Lord of fire, he rose and he sat at the tip of the arrow and with a secret smile heading in the direction of Indrajit. Listen beautifully. Shri Ram Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Rama Jai Jai Shri Ram Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Ayodhya Pati Raj Rama Chandra Ki Jai Bajrang Bali Ki Today my friends, it is said Indrajit is in the skies and Lakshmana mounts an arrow and when he mounts the arrow, it is said Agni sits on the tip of the arrow filled with flame. It is said rose-like, filled with flame. 
It is said with the seven tongues of the flame shot in the direction of Indrajit. With a secret smile, Agni says today will be his last. And while the arrow shoots into the air at the spot where he is in disguise, he is hit, his chariot is hit, and he starts to fall to the earth. And while he's falling, Ravana is looking on and he's seeing his son falling. He falls to the earth and the chariot has been broken into pieces. And while the chariot has been broken, Indrajit gets up. He's hurt, but he gets up there and then. And before he could go further, Lakshmana kneels down and he says, Today it will be your last. When you disrespect your elders, when you hurt the mother, and when you try to destroy me, Ananta, today you will have to die. He releases the arrow and it is said with the strength of Agni Dev and all the forms of Agni heading in the direction of Indrajit. With one blow, he beheads Indrajit and the heads fall off as the head falls to the ground. Ravana cries out, No! And when he cries out, Prabhu Ram smiles and he sees one more victory closer to Sita Devi. Prem Sasumapati Mahadevaki! Every one of us, every single day, with everything that we do, we have the Rakshasic qualities that are trying to get the better of us. The qualities that stop us from waking up in the morning and say, thank you, God. The qualities that stop us from being divine on the inside. The qualities that stop us from just being, let me put it so easy, the qualities that stop us from being nice. Do you know there are some people who can be nice? <laughs> There are some people, no matter how much you walk up to them and sit around, yeah, we are one. You could check them on any time of the day, morning, evening, before they go to sleep, after they relax, when they belly full, anything. And at any point you check them, so here now, what, what, talk, uh -huh, uh -huh, talk fast. <laughs> they are never at ease. We must at some point and sometimes in our life sit in that equipoise position and let peace emanate. Be peaceful. The world has been created to hit us, to throw us down, to knock us down, to break us, to bend us, to test us, to do everything that they want to do with us. But the world has also created us, or the world has created us for forbearance. Titiksha, it is said in Sanskrit. The world has created us to once more persevere goodness, strength from within so that we can stand strong and be dedicated to God. If our love for God is wavering, we have a problem. It must be unwavering due to God. Today, before we started puja, we had a few bhajans. But we asked a young little man to sing the Hanuman Jalisa. And he said, yeah, Baba, I can and sing that for you. <laughs> What's his name? Veer, well, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, that's why he could sing the Hanuman Chalisa. And without hesitation, he started eight years old. And he sang the entire Chalisa. And I said, who teach you? He said, nobody. I hear it all the time and I learn it. Veer is his name. With dedication, when you want to learn something, you will learn it. When you persevere, when you want to learn something, you can learn it. No matter what the world brings to you, no matter what the world will do to break your spirit and your consciousness, when you want to achieve something, you will achieve it. When you want to be confident in yourself, you will be confident. When you want to achieve a goal, not even if the world falls apart, even if the closest people to us leave us alone, it is fine. We will get the inner strength and we will do it because we must be focused on what we want and who we are in this world. Today, friends and bhaktas, while our message continues, Ravana sees his son that have fallen. And when he's seen him on the ground, he goes in his chambers and he sits there. And Prabhu Ramachandra, he says Hanuman, he says Vibhishan, he says Lakshmana. He says, let us now retreat. We have destroyed one being, and being that we have destroyed him at this time, let us take a rest for a moment. Because now we will have to fight none other than that Ravana. Who else will he call now? We don't know, but who else will he call on this field? And while they've gone to take a moment to simply rest, the bhajan says to us now, it is said while they are walking away, somebody comes on a field. 
who is not supposed to be there. It is said a woman walks onto the field and she stops and she looks again. And she walks again and she stops and she looks again. And she's watching and she's trying to recognize and she's trying to see. And she doesn't believe her eyes. She doesn't believe what she's seeing. And she runs up to the body of Indrajit. And there she drops down on the ground. And when she drops down, she starts to cry and shed her tears. And she says, no, how can you leave me? Why would you leave me? What will I do without you? And when she cries out with hurt in her heart, when she cries out at that point, my friends, everybody turned around to see and to look. And Hanumanji looks and he says, Kya hua? She says, don't you know who I am? I am the wife of Indrajit. And my name is Sulochana. Do you know how strong I am? You've destroyed my husband today. Do you know how powerful I am? And Lakshmana says, how powerful are you? She says, I am the daughter of Ananta. Sheshna and I became wed to Indrajit who are you and Lakshmana says I am the incarnation of Ananda I am Lakshmana I have accompanied Mahavishnu when Lord Vishnu took the avatar every time he comes he will come with the Sheshna the Ananda well I have come on his side so you are like my daughter today so I will speak to you listen friends Koi laka kare chaturai Karam ka le kamite narivai Zara samjo isa ki sachai re Karam ka le kamite narivai she has lost her husband and while she has lost her husband at this point there's nothing that no one can do but she begs and she says if you are the incarnation of Ananta bring back my husband I won't just look at him dead here how will I live how will I go back without him he's all I have and Lakshmana says well he should have lived a better life he should have do better with his life and while he speaks listen दुनिया में भाग्य के आगे चलना किसी का उपाय कागज हो तो सब कोई बच कर्म न बचा जा एक दिन किसी मत किसके कारण मन को गए तेरा गुराई रे करम Karam Kale Kamite Nariba Kahe Manava Dheeraja Kota Kahe Tuna करे सो चाहे हो राजा चाहे विकारे तो कर सभी ने यहाँ काई रे करम का ले कमी ते नारे भाई करम का ले कमी ते नारे भाई When Sulochana, she saw her husband lying there. She says, I am the daughter of Ananta. And Lakshmana turns around 
and when he starts to speak to her he says I bless you today I want you to learn I want you to learn from the mistake that your husband made and this is what you should do you should turn to my Lord Prabhu Ramachandra because if you are like my daughter I am the incarnation of your father to say you are like my child at this time turn to Prabhu Ram and surrender Itna tu karna Swami Jab praan tan se nikale Govinda naam le kar Tab praan tan se nikale And then she starts to cry and she says, I can't live without him. Please allow me to perform the appropriate rituals to dispose of him. Lucky are those when you die who are given the opportunity to have your last rites performed for you. We live in a world where nowadays nobody knows if you'll get your last rites finished. Look about the pandemic when thousands and thousands of people died and what happened? They put them in a bag and just put all of them together and burn everybody at one time. Nobody was given the pindas and the correct offerings, the appropriate offerings. Today, devotees, this is all Sulochana says. I want him to be disposed of, the body to be disposed of in the most appropriate way, in the right way, please. She says, light the fire. And when Agni is lit, place him on top of it, please. And there she goes to Lakshmana and she says, if you're like a father, please. Do you know what she does? She says, if you want me now to, to show that respect to your Lord, that will be the last thing I do. But today, I will let you know that after I gain that respect, I will walk into the fire itself and I will burn this body. Because as a dharampatni, as the wife, as the dolahin, what is the use of me being on the earth when I can't even serve my Lord? Indrajit, I might as well burn this body. Well, Jai Bhagawan. <laughs> In some parts of India long ago, if the husband died, when the fire is lit, it was the duty and the role of the wife to walk in the fire. Well, Baba, not me, he go go by himself. <laughs> not me, Jai Narayan. Baba, skip that chapter. <laughs> It was a traditional, listen, not reality, it was traditional that when the husband would die, practiced in India. But now it has been banned for many, many years. Thank God, Jai Bhagawan. It has been banned now, but long ago when the husband died, the wife would say, we are connected for all these generations. Why stay here? Why wait for what? I served him, I was happy, he was my company, he was my friend, he was my everything. Your companion is supposed to be your everything not so your companion is supposed to be everything to you the moment you lose that connection of the everything there problem comes you're waiting for wedge you're waiting for problems to start the companionship of two individuals it is supposed to be so let me think about this now when two people are courting and when two people start liming and so on what happens you can't get off the phone you want to know every movement Every text, every message, everything that comes in, you want to know everything. And the day you get married, well, he go on to walk some, I don't know, some way he go on, he go come back later. Connection is lost. And then when problems come, we wonder how. But that person is supposed to be your best friend. Every moment and every second, something happens, who should you share your joys with? Who should you share your sorrows with? I've met older people already at the age of 50 and 60 and 70 and they're still married and they say, Baba, I'm married 40 something years now. And as soon as you see something happen, you see the old man with his stick, he's walking and they say, babe, and they leave fall down. <laughs> Even there, the connection is there. And I admire those things. 
Even there in the older days, I've seen in pujas and prayers where they sit down and they can't even get up after the puja because they didn't use a pirha. And maybe they're 70 years old, but the mother will get up and she'll give me your hand, you know, Papa. And she will try to pull him up. But the love is there, the connection is there, our friendship is there. We become too caught up in the world. And when we get caught up in the world, we leave space for trouble to come. We forget who our best friend is. There was only sometimes when we lose that companionship. Then we say, if I had only known. She says today, I will prostrate to your Lord. But I will walk into the blazing pyre as a chaste wife. And I will destroy this body. And when she said so, she decided to go now to Prabhu Ramachandra. And Prabhu Ramachandra, seeing her, he decides to bless her. And when he blesses her, she calls his name. Lakshmana walks up to her and he says today, He is Mahavishnu. He is Viratarup. Today in the form of Prabhu Rama, please pay your respects. He has taken many avatars. And like I am Ananta, He is Mahavishnu, we sing. Hari Sundara Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayana Hari Hari Keshava Hari Govinda Hari Narayana Hari Hari Sundara Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayana Hari Hari Keshava Hari Mali Murali Dhari Govar Dhanagiri Var Dhari Banamali Murali Dhari Govar Dhanagiri Var Dhari Nit Nit Karma Kan Chori Gopi Manahari Nit Nit Karma Kan Chori Gopi Manahari Hari Sundar Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayana Hari Om Hare Keshava Hare Govinda Hari Narayana Hari At that point, she prostrated to Prabhu Ram. The fire was lit and she walked into the fire. 
And she says, I will be united with my Lord. While the fire was lit and everything was burnt, Ravana, looking from above, became so agitated. I have lost all my sons. What will I do now? He became so angry that he couldn't win this war. No matter how much he's trying, he can't win the war. So this is what he did. He walked into his room. He saw Mandodri and he says, move from here. And he picked up his sword and he walked outside and he came down the stairs and he went into the Vatika, the Ashoka. And he saw Sita Devi sitting and still wiping tears. And he walked up to her and he approaches her and he says, you foolish one. And there he lifts his sword in the air and he says, today I will destroy you. You are bringing destruction to my place. You are bringing destruction to Lanka. Today I will destroy you. And Sita Mata, not even looking at him, she says, Ravana, just yesterday you came to me and you speak so much of sweet words. And one day after, you come with hatred and you speak angry words to me. Is that what life is about? Is that what I would expect from you when I become wed to you, if you want that? Is that what a woman wants when she becomes wed to you? Ravana, just yesterday you were agreeing to give me the whole palace and servants and you'll treat me the best in the world. And today when you become angry, you throw hatred on me. Is that what life is supposed to be? People work together and they mend relationships. They mend marriages. People who really want to work things out, they work it and they mend things together. How can we love today and hate tomorrow? How can we look at the sad person in front of us and say the best thing in the world? And tomorrow, I don't want to see your face anymore. How can it work like that? She says, Ravana, don't fool yourself. Ravana raised the sword and he says, don't speak to me. Don't say such words because I can destroy you. And he's ready to behead her. But as he raises his sword in the air, one of the ministers walks up to him and says, Ravana, don't. Why belittle yourself as the king of Lanka to destroy a woman who doesn't have any armor? She doesn't have a sword, she doesn't have an arrow, she has no weapons, and you want to destroy her? Why? Ravana, a few days from now will be the dark lunar fortnight. It will be the 14th day and the 14th star. It will be the night of the new moon. I think it is the best night to destroy Ram. You want to destroy him? Go. Start preparing yourself so that you can destroy him. And Ravana looks at Sita Devi and he says, I will destroy you when I destroy your Lord. And he turns around and he stamps his feet and he starts to go back now. And while he's going, he's pondering what to do next. He sits in his chambers and he's wondering how to destroy them on the battlefield. He stands up by the windowsill and he's seeing them celebrating their victory. He's seeing all the tents on the Suvila mountain. He's seeing Prabhu Rama, Lakshmana, He's seeing Sugriv, Hanumanji, and he's wondering, what should I do? Is it true that I was cursed by Nandi to die at the hands of monkeys and bears and the humans? That I will really die in their hands? I am Lankeshu. Nobody is supposed to be able to destroy me. I worship you, Shankar Bolinath. How will I die? And at that point, he remembers that he has two more sons remaining. He says, Mahadev, I remember now. I have two sons. I will send them out. They are powerful. When I send them out, I know at this time I should be lucky. When he looks up in the air, Har Har Mahadev, he calls out to Lord Shiva. Listen. Kalapasha Nashata Nijajanaki Mrityujay Bhaya Hara 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 Mrityu jaya bhaya hara 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 Bando Parvati Shiva Shankar Bando Parvati Shiva Shankar Bando Parvati Ramacharitra Manasa 
के करता दया सिंधु दाता अही शशिधर दया सिंधु दाता अही शशिधर बंधु पार्वती बोले वेद महा वेद महा महिमानित गावत हो वेद महा महिमानित गावत त्रिपुरा असुर मर्दन सुर वो पर त्रिपुरा असुर मर्दन सुर वो पर ध्यान जो करे तुम हारा हो भक्त ध्यान जो करे तुम हारा ताके भागा जाता सब ही धर धर ताके भागा जाता सब ही धर धर बंधु पार्वती It is said, my dear friends, while now Ravana sits down to think, he remembers that he has two sons. They were born to Mandodari. But when they were born as babies, their face looked like serpent-like. Somewhat like the serpents. He was ashamed of them. So he decided to cast them out. He decided to take them and he placed them by one of the rivers. Not too far from Lanka itself. And when he placed them into the rivers, it is said the serpent goddess Simhika, she saw these two babies lying there. So she decided now to take these two babies and take them into the waters and she went to the base and to the bottom of the nadi. And when she went to the bottom of the nadi, she found a little crack in the earth and she decided to go directly down to Patal. When she went to Patal, she started to teach them how to pray. But she will teach them to pray to that divine Shakti, Badra Kali Mata. And while they will learn to worship Shakti Devi Mata, they will be called Ahiravan and Mahiravan. They are part and parcel from the blood of Ravana. And they are the last two sons that are surviving. While Ahiravan and Mahiravan, they are there in Patalok. They've become the kings of Patalok. They will worship Devi Mata in some of the sacrifices that has been prescribed in their region for Devi Ma. And while they are there in Patal, Ravana remembers that he has two more sons. Vrindavan Bihari Lalaki! Ravana remembers his two sons who would have looked like serpent-like forms. He had taken them and placed them on the banks of the river. And there, Simhika took them to the serpent world and taught them how to worship Devi. They learned how to love Mother Kali and how to worship Mother Kali. Being in Patal Lok and in Patal region, they will offer so many forms of sacrifice to Badra Kali Mata because it is the netherworlds. While they're making the offerings there, Katha tells us, suddenly one serpent comes down to them and says, your father is calling you Ravana. Ahiravan, Mahiravan, you have been summoned. So they've left now, putting their hands together, putting their weapons together. Father never calls us. For father to call us, something must be wrong. Let us go and see what he wants. In your life, my friends, do you wait until your parents need you then to be there? <laughs> do you know how many children forget that their parents are alive? Do you know how many mothers come to me and say, Baba, it's been three, four, five years, my son never gave me a call, a phone call himself. 
Baba, it's been years. My daughter haven't even the day she got married and she left. I don't even hear her anymore. Much less to help us do anything. Parents work hard. Parents sacrifice. Day in and day out. Sometimes even they may have their troubles internally, but they do what they have to and they work it out and they grow up the children with the best of their ability. And when the child gets big, they neglect mother and father. Some parents say, Baba, I can't tell you last time I see my son. I can't tell you last time I see my daughter. I can't tell you last time they give me a call on the phone self. You just have to pick up the phone and dial. I can't tell you last time they come and look for me to see if I'm okay. Baba, sometimes we make do with what we have and my son is a big engineer but we don't want to ask him anything because he doesn't look for me. It happens. It happens in the world. And while it happens, my friends, remember, gratitude is one of the greatest blessings in the world. And ingratitude is a sin according to the scripture. They heard their father call for them and they left the nether regions immediately and decided to go up. When your father called you, how long you take to come? <laughs> yeah. How long you stay? Will? You sure? Call that in my accent. That's true. The God daddy pick up for him now, eh? <laughs> Meanwhile, their children today, when daddy say, come, yeah, come in, wait, I come in now, wait. Where's my little goddaughter? <laughs> when mommy say, come, yeah, come in, hold on, hold on. I come in now. <laughs> I come in now. And they hide, and they sit in their room, and they're on the phone, and they're on their games, and probably mommy dying of thirst, and child, yeah, don't worry, the kitchen right there, ma, go. <laughs> Although no point finger and thing. Thank God the TV can see all you. <laughs> but how long do we take to respond? In the beginning of our scripture, Hanumanji's mother said to him, When I think of you, make sure you're here. When we were small and mommy said, Come, could you say, Wait? <laughs> when you come, call the ambulance one time. You go in casualty. Licks. When you see mother call you, father call you and say, and you're in a distance, and daddy say, come here. And you watch him and he say, mm -mm, And he give you the look alone. If you have to roll and come, you better come. Not so? But today, children of today's world, they are losing respect for the parents because they think maybe they know a little more technology, or they know a little more of something, or maybe they know a little more of life, or maybe they don't understand life fully, but I know me. You know what? Don't tell me nothing. I know me. I know what it is. And with an ignorance, they're growing up with an ignorance, not understanding what the world really gives. You can learn all the things of the world. You can learn all the bookwork of the world as to how to do everything proper. But like the older people say, if you don't have a little common sense, you're in trouble. How do you get the common sense? Experience of life. Listen to the elders. Take their word a little bit. Follow. Maybe you know they might fall if they decide to do what you're saying to do. But follow along so that they can see and then show them your way if you must. We're not saying children are always wrong. But then work together to prove and to show. Work together. A child should be a friend or a parent at some point. Today, Bhaktas, while these two sons have been called, they leave Patalok and they've gone now to the regions of Ravana. And when they reach Ravana, they put their hands together. Pitaji, my pranams. In a very nice tone, Pitaji, pranams. How can I be of service to you? When the child come and you call him, what did he say? We are. Talk fast. I'm busy. <laughs> they put their hands together. How can I be of service to you, Pitaji? And Pitaji Ravana says, listen, watch. Look there in the field. There's someone called Ram, Lakshmana. They're destroying the battlefield. They're destroying the Rakshasa clan. I want you to kidnap them if you can. And I want you to destroy them. And I want you to show the world that my sons are powerful. I know you can do it. I know you can do what you must because you are sorcerers. You live in a serpent world. You make offerings to Badra Kalima. You are sorcerers and you are Rakshasas by nature. 
and I know you will know what to do. Do what you must. And immediately, they were about to follow the command. So they've decided to go to the battlefield. It has become night. Night has dawned. And there, while tents have been set up, Lord Ram has gone to sleep. Lakshmana have gone to sleep. And Hanuman Baba, he sits outside the tent and he says, Jai Shri Ram. And he allows his tail to grow to surround the tent so that nobody could enter while the Lord rests. That is how powerful Hanumanji is. He sits there and he surrounds the tent with his tail so that nobody could enter. And they come up with a plan. Ahiravan says, I have a plan. With sorcery, I will change myself into Vibhishan. And I will go to Hanumanji and I will enter. And when I enter, our plan will be set. You become invisible, Mahiravan. And let us do what we must. So this is what they're doing, my friends. This is what they've done. Hanumanji sits there. It is late night. And there he sees Vibhishan walking up to him. And he says, Vibhishan, what are you doing outside? I thought you were inside. And Vibhishan, that magic form, Vibhishan, he says, I went outside for some water. You didn't see me? Can you lift your tail? I want to enter, please. And when Hanumanji lifts part of his tail and Vibhishan enters, he doesn't enter alone, invisible. Ahiravan, Mahiravan, they've entered the tents and they start searching for Prabhu Ramachandra. And while they're searching, looking from tent to tent, they're searching for the Lord. When suddenly they come upon one of the tents and the tents inside, you could see Prabhu Ram, he's resting. Lakshmana, he's resting. And they said to themselves, this is our plan and this is what we must do. Mahiravan, he digs a hole and he creates a hole with his magic from the earth of Lanka to Patalok. And he says, let us cast a spell on them. Let us make them sleep for a long time and let them not wake up. And there he takes them on his shoulders and he is about to take them through the hole. And as soon as he takes them through the hole and they're about to go down to Patalok, Hanumanji was sitting at the front. He sees Vibhishan coming and Vibhishan is saying now, Hanumanji, can you lift your tail for a second? I want to go outside. Hanumanji says, but didn't you just come from outside? He says, no, I didn't go anywhere. And Vibhishan says, oh, Hanumanji, you were caught by Maya. I know who came. The two sons, Ahiravan, let us run to the tent of Prabhu Rama. And they're running to the tent of Prabhu Ram. And as soon as they enter, what do they see? They see a hole that is dug in the tent leading to Pataloka. And Hanumanji seeing this, he says, without further ado, I will go down and find my Lord. Rest assured that I will bring back Prabhu Ramachandra. Be rest assured that I will capture them and I will bring them back safe and sound. And at that point, while everybody's gathered, while they're now asking the questions as to where the Lord has gone, Hanumanji jumps into the hole and he's about to go to Patala. And while he's going down, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Pavana Sutta Hanuman Ki Jai, Bajarangavali Ki. Hanumanji, he dives into the hole and he goes down. And as he's going down halfway into Patalok, it is said he holds his gada, he holds his mukdar in front of him as to eradicate anything that may be in front. And while he goes down to Patalok, chanting Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, 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 in search of Prabhu Rama, he goes down to Patal. And tomorrow night, we continue with what happens in Pataloka. Pavana Sutta Hanuman Ki, Bajarangabali Ki. With this, my friends, we end our beautiful message because so much has to happen in Pataloka and in other regions. Tomorrow night, we will hear what happens for Lord Hanumanji to save his Lord, Sri Ram. At this time, as we conclude, before we join in our Arati, I think, actually no, at this point, let us join in our arati. Let us stand. All together we stand as you know, we have the sacred light. Arati ki jai Hanuman alala ki Dushta dalana ragunata kala ki Oh! 
भारती की जय हनुमान लला की सकल रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की सकल रघुनाथ कला जाके बल से गिरी बर पापे रोग दोष जाके निकटन जाके जाके बल से जाके बल से गिरी बर कापे रोग दोष जाके निकटन जाके अजनि 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 महाबल दाई दतन के प्रभु सदा सहाये देवीरा 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 रघुनाथ पताए लंका जारी सिया सुधिलाए देवीरा रघुनाथ पताए लंका जारी सिया सुधिलाए लंका से लंका से लंका से कुट समुद्र से काए जात पवन से दबार लक्ष्मण मूरज तपदे सकारे आनि संजीवन आनि संजीवन प्राण उगारे लक्ष्मण मूरज तपदे सकारे आनि संजीवन प्राण उगारे पैती हो पैती हो पैती पता सूर्य जमदारी ऐरावन के पूजा उजारे सुंदर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उचारे सुंदर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उचारे कचन कचन कंचन तारक पुर लवचारी आरती करता अंजना माये जय 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 हनुमान 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 पिता तमेवे बंधुष सखा तमेवे विद्या द्रविणम तमेवे सर्व मम देवेव सर्व मम देवेव स्वामीनाता सचिदानंद जय गुरुनाथा सचिदानंद स्वामीनाता सचिदानंद जय गुरुनाथा सचिदानंद Jai 
गुरुनाथा सचिदानंद सब है तेरे बच्चे स्वामी हम सब है तेरे बच्चे स्वामी तू है हमारा विदाता स्वामी नाता भर कर सुमिरन तेर जीवन भर कर सुमिरन तेर गाड़ी गाड़ी पल पल नाम तेरा गाड़ी गाड़ी पल पल नाम तेरा भर दे ऐसा दाता स्वामी नाता भर दे ऐसा दाता स्वामी नाता राधे 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 गोपाल राधे 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 गोविंद राधे 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 गोपाल राधे 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 गोविंद राधे 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 गोपाल राधे 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 गोविंद राधे 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 गोपाल राधे 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 गोविंद राधे 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 गोपाल राधे 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 गोविंद राधे 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 गोपाल राधे 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 स्वामी नाता सनातन धर्म की जय 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 सीताराम आसन लीजिए लेट अस ऑल टेक आवर सीट्स एट दिस टाइम दिस इज व्हाई वी कंक्लूड अ ब्यूटीफुल नाइट वंस मोर अनदर नाइट इन आवर वंडरफुल अष्ट सिद्धि यात्रा एंड एज वी डू कंक्लूड मे द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ ईच एंड एवरीवन बी विद मे द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड बी विद ईच एंड एवरीवन वी से भगवान्स ब्लेसिंग्स एंड जय श्री हनुमान जी एज वी कंक्लूड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द मेंबर्स ऑफ द होम वी स्पेशली थैंक ईच एंड एवरीवन फॉर बीइंग हियर and before we leave please do partake of meals as meals have been prepared for each and every one jai shri hanuman sangya television is not only the first in the tv station in trinidad and tobago but sangya tv also has the most coverage you can find sangya television on youtube by searching for sangya television on the sangya television's youtube channel you can find all previously recorded yagnas and all sangya tv exclusive programming don't forget to click subscribe so you can be notified of all new uploads sangya television aims at providing you with your number one choice for cultural inspirational and spiritual programming sangya television is not 